Now, it's important to put the curve into context when looking at these daily numbers. We've been talking about flattening that curve. Actually, understanding it can sometimes be confusing and a little tricky. Here's Sydney Holdridge. Take a look at this graph. By looking at this, you might question, why is our state reopening when these numbers don't seem to steadily decrease? But this is just one piece of the puzzle. According to federal guidelines, states should see a decrease in new cases or positive tests over a 14-day period. So this is where we see the next piece in the puzzle. This graph shows the percentage of COVID-19 tests confirmed positive. It's what state officials are also looking at when it comes to getting things back to normal. Over the past month, you can see a decrease in the percentage of positive cases. According to DHEC, when the percent is high, it could mean there's not enough testing to capture how widespread the virus is in our state. But when the percentage is low, it means more people are actually being tested. DHEC says this is a more accurate reflection of the presence of the virus in our community. Looking back at this graph, you can see as testing increases, the number of tests actually confirmed positive decreases. So although the number of daily reported cases seems to be inconsistent, only 8.4% of the 95,866 tests performed were actually confirmed positive. In Columbia, Sydney Holdridge, News 19 WLTX. And it is important to remember that DHEC says these numbers can change as the department gets new information on a day.